morning. If I, if you are watching this video and you no longer see that red button up here in the top, that means I'm no longer live. This is part two of the Mary Marble tutorial, going over the sealant and how to seal your paint, what to seal your paints with, what not to seal your paints with, do's and don'ts about sealing your paints, and any other questions that you have, I am here to help you, okay? So we're going to seal those cups that I dipped yesterday. If you're watching, if you missed the part one tutorial, you can go back and watch it. Um, it's gonna be saved on Mr. Fancy Pants page. Um, so I'm just gonna wait. Hi, good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Brenda, you're back. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining. Thanks, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great morning this, so far. I'm just getting my gloves on and I will give a few moments give everybody a chance to jump on and while I'm waiting for everyone to jump on if you have any questions about yesterday's tutorial that you'd like to ask I'm here to help you answer them good morning Jeannie good morning good morning I'm gonna good morning <laughs> after this tutorial I oh, know look it looks like I have horns because I have the place that I, after this tutorial, I told my son, Michael, I said, after I'm done with the tutorial, be ready because we're cleaning house. Good morning, Shelly. Just enjoying, good morning, Latrice. Enjoying my hot cup of joe before we get started. Y'all have any questions about yesterday? Or what do y'all have planned for today? I had planned to go fishing this morning, but that was canceled because my husband had to go into work because of the days that he missed from the, that flooding. Morning, Cynthia. There's like a delay, so when y'all ask me questions or if y'all say anything, you don't see me answer right away because I think it takes about 20 seconds to come over this way and then I see it and then vice versa. Whatever I'm saying, it's gonna, y'all won't hear me until about 20 seconds later. So, um, to go over what I'm going to use, well, I'll wait just a few moments, give everybody a chance to jump on before I get started and go over everything. I got my gloves on, I got my cups ready. <laughs> there are uh, some shows I want to catch up on too. Let's see. Um, so, I missed Walking Dead the past two seasons, so I plan on catching up on that. I just watched season eight, so now I'm on season nine. What else? Um, what other seasons I need to catch up on? 100 on Netflix. I think they're on season eight. I watched that one, so I need to catch up on that one. And hello, my beautiful, hello, Shaq. <laughs> my Shaq is here. You only watch trashy TV? <laughs> I love sci-fi. Sci-fi action is my favorite. Okay, so I know it's morning, so if you don't worry, if you miss this live, it will be replayed. Um, you can go back and replay it. It'll be saved, so no worries. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so what I use for um, to seal my cuffs, okay? You don't have to use this. <laughs> uh, this is just what I use, okay? I use Quick Coat by Counterculture DIY. That is what I personally use to seal all my cups. Um, every time I use this, I, I have never had a problem with my cups when I use this. No repelling, um, no fish eyes, no, I mean, just, I don't have any problems whatsoever. So I do this because this is what works for me. You don't have to do this. This is just what I recommend because I personally use it. But again, you work what's what, what you do, what works best for you. <laughs> oh gosh, Nicole, don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> um, so some people use, I've seen some people use Mod Podge and I've seen some people that use nothing. Okay, so if that works for you, that's great. You keep on working what works best for you. I'm gonna get, scoot over because I see these horns right here. 
So I'm just going to scoot over for a second. Um, what happens? Okay. What happens? And I just want to answer these questions, okay? I just want to go touch base over this sealant real quick. Sealing your marble paint cups before we move forward, okay? Why is it important to seal? Because if you don't seal, you leave the possibility of the epoxy repelling, okay? So that's one good reason why it's good to seal. Um, have I ever not sealed before? Yes. Um, like for instance, I just dipped these cups yesterday. Would I be able, would I feel comfortable? Ah, oh. <laughs> would I feel comfortable it, um, applying epoxy on these cups without sealing it? No, I would not. Um, the reason being is that I know for a fact I did, I did a dip with Shaq. I did a dip with Shaq on this cup. I dipped this cup, okay? And um, I, pur I purposely did not apply my sealant. I put the epoxy on it maybe two days later and it just repelled this cup all over. It was disgusting. I have the video saved on another page. Thanks, Leanne. <laughs> oh gosh, Leanne, you're so funny. You remember that. Um, so anyhow, that's the reason why it's important to seal because this cup was full of, I mean, just like potholes all over for me not sealing it um so it took me about uh, three coats of epoxy until i got everything out which it's fine now but see that finish <laughs> it's fine now but that's the reason why it's so important to seal um, if you don't sell, you just leave that potential. I just want to let y'all know it just leaves the potential of, you know, your epoxy repelling. What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Um, I think that's it. That's really, you know, like I said, if, if, um, if you don't seal too, and let's say you don't have this sealant and it, you know, you need to dip a cup, what happens? Um, so you can bypass this. However, I waited two days. <laughs> I waited two days for this to dry before applying epoxy without a sealant and it still repelled. So it's just going to vary, guys. It's just, you know, it's different. Um, one time I waited a whole week for my cup to dry and apply the epoxy. Now, by me waiting that whole week, I put it out in the sun. Um, I let it soak up that vitamin D and it was fine. It did come out okay. But that was a whole week and can y'all wait a whole week? Good morning, Hillary. Can y'all wait a whole week if you have a cup order to, you know, let your cup dry? I can't. I can't. Like, these are cup orders, the ones that I dipped yesterday. I want to dip them, seal them, epoxy them, apply decals or whatnot and, you know, let them dry and get them out. So, unless y'all have time to let it dry, you can do that, but... It's just, it's just easier, guys, for me. For me, this is just easier. It takes all the guessing out and put the seal it on, let it dry, bam, I'm done. All right? So, do y'all have any questions about sealant before I move on? I'll give y'all a few minutes. I seal, this is what I seal. I seal with Quick Coat by counterculture DIY never had not one problem not one and this is quick coat not um, stick tight there is a stick tight but this is quick coat and I use it on every single dip cup I'm not telling you you have to use it this is just what I use and I recommend this because I have not ever had one cup repel. If you apply it correctly and you let it dry correctly and you follow the instructions, it is awesome. The alternative, I don't have an alternative, um, but I have known, I have not sealed my cups before, but again, I had to wait a whole week for my cups to dry. Um, because one time I was low on this stuff and I had a cup that I dipped, but I wasn't in a rush. So I let my cup dry for a whole week before I applied the poxin and it came out okay. Another alternative is Mod Podge. I personally have never used Mod Podge on my dip cups, so I cannot tell you if that's going to work or not. Because I've never done that. 
but I've heard you can use Mod Podge. You're welcome. Any other questions about sealing? Okay, so I'm gonna move forward. We're gonna move forward on the next step. I don't know, Candy. Um, okay, so Nicole is right. I forgot to go over this. Hold on. She mentioned polyutherine. Yes. Okay. So you can use this. This is another alternative. Okay. Um, this is an alternative if you don't have this. I have this as a backup in case I ever run out of this. But you know what? Ever since I have this, I don't even use this anymore. This is, hi, Nancy. I just use this. Oh, okay. This will do the trick as well. Um, the only thing I do not recommend is if you have white on your, if you're using a white marabou paint on your cup, use this rather than this because it will yellow. I know personally because I have a cup, one of my first dip cups, and I used this to seal it. And um, I had white on my cup, and then over time, the white started turning yellow. So, um, you know, again, so that I know I don't need anything. This is perfect. You don't have to go outside. Um, you know, fall and winter's coming. So, I just use this. But yeah, this is an alternative, okay? Uh, fast drying poly U3. I have used this before and it does work. You're welcome. Okay. And again, I, I mean, somebody might have, I mean, if, it, if you don't have any white, this is, uh, I mean, this is just based off of what, uh, some people probably never had yellowing before. So it's just, you know, it varies. Again, I use this because I don't have any problems. Never, never. No yellowing, no repelling, nothing. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to take some of this. This is very watery. Um, here's one of the cups I dipped yesterday. Okay, and so I am going to, and this quick coat goes a long way. It's very watery, um, and... It lasts a long time, okay? Well, I mean, I've had it for a while. I'm halfway through. I'm not even halfway. Almost halfway. And I've used this on already maybe 20 cups. So, you'll get a lot of cups out of this. Can you see it? Okay. Very watery. Okay, hold on a second. I can't afford for this to spill over. <laughs> okay, so, and it, all it is is it's, it's clear sealant. That's it, guys. It's just a clear sealant. So, I'm going to take my foam brush. Actually, okay, and I'm going to apply it generously. Um, make sure your paint is dry because another common... Um, I'm not looking for the second at, a, at this moment because I'm applying this, but another common thing that I've noticed that people have questions about is they notice streaks on their cup when they apply the sealant. Two reasons why you'll notice streaks, whether you're using when you're applying a sealant, okay? It doesn't have to be this sealant, any type of sealant, Mod Podge, whatever. Um, one, it's either because your paint is still wet, okay? Or two, you're applying too much pressure. And I have a cup I'm going to show you that I did. And I was anxious and I wasn't patient. And I applied the sealant too quickly. And it just left streaks from my brush all over the cup. Okay, hold on a second. Let me go. Let me call my... Okay. Can you bring your uh, Fortnite cup? <laughs> it's way at the top of the cupboard. Okay, I know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brandy. Okay. 
Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Tanya. Okay, so I'm just applying this generously all around the cup. Shh, 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 shh. Thank you, son. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to show you all this cup in a second. I'll give you a closer look. <laughs> so it, the bell is so I don't have to yell. They know, I always tell them if I'm going live and they know already when I ring the bell, that means I need, mom needs something, okay? Um, so I just apply it generously all over the cup and I'm not stingy. Don't be stingy, okay? It's better to apply more than not enough because just to take the guessing out. So that's it. I just apply it all over this cup. And this, so these cups were the cups that I dipped yesterday. I let the paints dry, so they dried all night. And then this more, now I'm sealing it. And so what I'm gonna do after I seal it is that it has to dry. It has to be dry to touch, okay? And then after I let it dry, then that's when I'll go to the next step, apply my epoxy. Some people, um, just you can apply your decals right after this if you want. I personally don't do that. I like to apply my epoxy first, and then I put the decal, and then another coat of epoxy. You're in Target. Good morning, Raquel. <laughs> I used to do that too, Brandy. I used to do, I mean, I still do that. I still do that. When I get tired of yelling, you need acetone. And like I said, I'm just applying generously to make sure. And if you ever, if you apply your, your sealant and you notice your epoxy is still repelling, that's probably because you maybe missed a spot. So um, it can happen. And that's the reason why I, you'll see me go over this cup over and over and over again because the rim... And it's like water, guys. Look at this. I mean, it's just so watery. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's sweet. You like this linen? I'll make you one, sweetheart. You want one this color? If you want one this color, um, let me know and I'll make you one. Just for you. For my glitter boo. Uh, Raquel, I am using, here, let me scoot this over so you can see what I'm using. That's what I'm using right here. And like I said, not everybody uses it. I'm not saying you have to use this. This is just what I use. This is what works for me. And this is what I love to use. I, I just, I don't have any problems. I know for sure I'm not gonna have any <laughs> problems because I don't feel like starting over, see? So it should be all nice and glossy all over. I mean like, I apply a lot guys, a lot. Only because I just, I don't want anything to happen to this one and done yeah I mean yeah you can use any brand epoxy you want um, my favorite so far I want to try I'm going to try I'm going to try um, faux rizzle pretty soon I just haven't placed the order I've been procrastinating um, but uh, I've actually used counterculture Man, that stuff's really good. I really like that. Um, but you can use any epoxy. There's no special epoxy. You can use your Pro Marine, your Lumilite, your Faux Rizzle, whatever, whatever you have is fine. Okay, so I, <coughs> I think I have enough. I think I have enough. I think I sealed this for like 10 minutes. Oh, okay, honey. You let me know whatever color you want, okay? Just for you. Okay. 
Okay, so I was going to show you the cut before I get to the next one. Okay, I'm going to turn my phone around so you can see this. So I'm going to show this to you as an example what happens when you apply too much pressure. Give me just a second. Okay. Let me get it underneath the light here. All right, see those streaks on the paint? Do you see that? Look at that. That's because I was in a rush and I did not let my paint dry and I applied the sealant because I did not, I mean, um, one, I was in a rush, okay? I didn't let my paint dry all the way. And two, I put too much pressure with the foam brush. Okay, so this is what happens when, you know, you're too anxious. All right, so I don't want this to happen to you guys, so I'm just letting you know. Just be, you have to be patient, otherwise this can happen. I hope y'all can see these streaks here. Okay, back to the show. Turn you around. There we go. Does that help y'all? All right, next cup. I'm just gonna seal another cup and then after that I'm gonna go to the epoxy. This is John's cup. <laughs> John, if you don't want this color, be uh, I'll I'll make you a different one, dude. <laughs> I'll make you a different one. I was like, oh my gosh, this is too much purple. This is the one with the looter and um, looter and what else? I can't remember. Looter and another one, another glitter. The looter glitter and another glitter. <laughs> This is not a guy's cup, so if you want another color, I'd be more than happy. I can give this to someone else. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'm just going to pour some more. John, your cup is so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit faster since y'all saw what I was. I was going slower the first time. So I'm just going to go faster. I just slop this stuff on. Okay. I'm not stingy. I apply very generously. I'm just slopping it on here. How did you know I was low? I can't make my son do that. <laughs> Have him bring the coffee pot to me and serve it to me like a butler. Oh, Lord. Let me see if he'll do it for me. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, honey. I'll help you. No problem. Can you bring me the coffee pot so you can pour some coffee in there for me, please? The little coffee pot that's on the kitchen counter? Or no. Huh? You know what it looks like, right? The coffee, where I make my coffee. Um, okay, thank you. Oh, I need to give you some cough medicine. He's so sweet. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> I don't waste it. Yes, I pour my leftover quick coat. I mean, because the paint's dry, and I'm using a clean brush, so, yes, I pour it back in. Good question, Vanji. That's a really good question. No one's ever asked me that before. Yeah, because I don't, I don't waste. <laughs> ah! Shh, 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 shh. Okay, ah! just pour it in here for me. Oh. Just pour it. I'll tell you when to stop. Go fast. Fast, 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 fast. Okay, stop, stop. Thank you, sweetie. 
Can I take the rest? No, it's too hot. Be careful. You're the best. My son came and just poured me another fresh hot cup of joe. I'm going to have to give him some Fortnite money now. <laughs> He's so nice. But nothing, he doesn't do anything for free around here. <laughs> Later on, he's going to ask me, can I have some money? Remember I poured you that cup of coffee? All my kids are sweet. They're all sweet. Okay. I think I have it covered here. Like I said, I slop it off. <laughs> okay. This is good. All right, there we go. Ooh, pretty. This is pretty if you like purples. You like that? Okay. Okay, so I have some left over. I'll pour it back in. Okay. I have a lot in my brush, so let me see if I can squeeze it out. And you can reuse this brush. I just run it under hot water. Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's John's cup. John, like I said, if you want a different color, I can I can give that to someone else and I can make you a different color if that's too girly for you. Okay. Shoo. <laughs> oh, thank you, Monica. Thank you. Now, I think that one's on my page. I actually have the video showing me dip that skull on my own page. And I used, um, I used that big old crawfish boil pot. Lennon, you want one like that? Which one? Okay, we'll, we'll talk after this live, Lennon, and you tell me what color you want, okay? All right. All right, so I'm gonna, let me move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Well, not turn you around, but just maneuver stuff around here. Let me go put this back, okay. Do you have any questions about that sealant so far? Whew, my hands get all clammy. All right, so I'm going to use, oops, sorry. All right, so these are the cups that are ready. Hold on just a second. I don't have to turn off my fan for a moment. Okay. So I am going to epoxy some cups that y'all get to see. All right, there are gonna be two of them. I've already applied the sealant on here. I'm just going over, making sure it's dry to touch. Hold on, my hands are all clammy. Okay, let me show you the cups that I'm gonna be. There we go. Okay, so this is one, and then there's the other one. Okay, so I'm going to be sealing the, I mean, uh, applying the epoxy to these. All right. And it already has the sealant. And it's dry all the way around. Just make sure everything's dry. Um, sometimes you'll notice on these cups, let me see if I can give you, okay, see that right there? See that, like a little of those little fish eyes? Don't worry. You won't see that. Um, you won't see that once you apply the epoxy. You won't see none of those little fish eyes. You see that in there? There's like a glare, but it's right by the glare as I'm rotating it. Sometimes you'll get those. Don't worry about it. Once you apply the epoxy, it'll go away. Um, I 
as long as this is dry. Like, it shouldn't be sticky. It should be dry, okay? Dry to touch. Um, I would say, I mean, to be honest with you, after you put that, after the sealant that I just put on right now, if I wanted to epoxy today, I could. I would um, put it outside. <laughs> you can use your heat gun, just what, however long, just like spray paint. When you spray paint something, you have to wait till it's dry. That sealant works the same way. You have to, you, after you apply it, just wait till it's dry. Okay. So if you have a heater or a heat gun to apply the heat, that's fine too. All right. So I am, so for the pick, the, the pickpocket one, I'm going to add Candyman. Okay. So I'm going to add Candyman in it. And then I'm also going to add some Glowcane Blue in it. So it can glow. And let me see, Candyman, Glow Cane Blue. I'll add a little bit of White Rhino and a little bit of Cookie Jar. Oh, you're welcome. That's what I'm, I, I mean, I'm here to help y'all. I, I want y'all to have successful dips. I've heard some people like just give up, buy the paints and give up. And I don't want y'all to give up because it, it, I promise you, if you just follow the steps, be patient, they'll come out great. All right, let me put my coffee up and let's get going. All right, let me turn y'all around so y'all can see. Can you see that? All right, I know y'all can see my quick coat just in case y'all wanna. All right, so here we go. Um, is that the good lighting? Let me see. Let me see, you see that? Okay. You know what? Let me make y'all this way. Let me make the epoxy first and then I'll turn y'all around. So, this one's gonna have Candyman in it. And I'm just gonna put a smidge. Do that. There we go. It's probably too much. Sometimes I get too crazy. All right. And then I'm gonna use my glow cane. I'm never good at measuring this stuff, so I always add a lot. Sorry about that. Okay. Hmm. Probably a little bit more. I think that's good. I think it's good. Okay. And then I'm going to add some white rhino. I love that white rhino. Mmm. About that much. I got a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> and I'm not gonna add the cookie jar after I um I don't know. Nicole, this is your cup. Do you want um a decal on this? Let me know if you want a decal. Well, you know what? I gotta put another coat of epoxy. I know this, so <laughs> uh the clocane was two smidges, the candy man was one smidge. And the white rhino was another smidge, one smidge. Um, so, Nicole, let me know um, if you want a decal on yours, because this is Nicole's, okay? And then, let's see. What the hell? All right. I already had the epoxy measure, so I'm just putting it in there.
I need to buy an epoxy mixer. That is on my list. Everyone's so quiet. No questions, everyone's still waking up. Or you're just. All right, I'm getting the cup sweats. All right, I'm just gonna mix this up here. I like for it to get nice and warm. So this is the boring part, you have to wait. <laughs> of course. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, I put a smidge of Candyman. I put two smidges of Glocane Blue. A smidge and a smidge of White Rhino. <laughs> and I use uh, counterculture and a Lumalite epoxy, but I'm out of counterculture right now, so this is a Lumalite that I'm using right now. It works. I mean, that's what I first started using. Um, what I'll do, I'll be honest with you, what I do is that I'll use, I'll use a Lumalite for the base, and then I'll use counterculture. Good morning, Margaret. Um, and then I'll use counterculture for the top coat because it gives it that glass finish. So, if you, that's always good to do. So I'm just mixing it up here. This is the boring part because I wait after I mix it. You have to mix that glow really, really good. People always ask questions about the glow. Mix it really, really good. Hold on, I get carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so what's everybody gonna do later on while I'm mixing this we got a while because I let I let it heat up before I put it on my cup so let's talk No one's talking. Alrighty then. Very cool. I have some Halloween cups. I need to get rid of them. I think I'm just gonna skip. I mean, I have Halloween cups. I, you have to make shirt cups and pump. I've never made shirts yet. Well, I take that back. I've made one shirt, but I really wouldn't count it as a shirt. But I want to make some shirts. Oh, nice. Oh, how fun, Lisa. A girl's day. Hillary, how fun. You getting ready for a baby shower? <laughs> Raquel, you're working. Yeah, that's what I do. I watch lives or watch Netflix while I'm working. <laughs> you're funny, Tiger. Walk away. Walk away, that's what I have to do. I have to put blinders on sometimes. I tell myself when I go in Target for something, I tell myself, okay, I'm just gonna go in here, get detergent, and walk out. Don't, I'm not gonna look anywhere else. Mmm, nice, Terry. <laughs> walk away, walk away, Tanya. Walk away, honey. Don't look anywhere else, stop looking. Look, I have to tell myself, do you need, is it a need or is it a want? Oh, nice, you're doing a Christmas ornament. Home Depot. I need to go buy um, a rotisserie turner from Home Depot. Thanks for reminding me. Backs away slowly. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> Brenda, you have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. I have a lot of shoes. This house is a mess. I'm going to have to clean up my house after this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Terry. Oh, bless his heart. Okay, so it's mixed pretty good, but I want it to warm up. So 
you know, I like it to warm up because I want it thick when I apply it on. And I'm telling you, once this epoxy goes on that cup, it's like, ah! <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at that. Let me see. Um, let me see if I can, while it's warming up, I'll start charging it. How fun, tie-dyeing shirts. I've never tie-dyed shirts before. That sounds like so much fun. I would love to do that. Ooh, look at that blue go. Ooh, that blue's looking pretty. Hold on, I'm gonna turn off the light so y'all can see it. It's charging. Baby got that. <laughs> You're funny. Is anybody else um, going live today? I'd like to watch you. Nicole, are you going live today? So all of these products that I'm using, you can purchase them at mrfancypants.shop. Thick. <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> I like it thick yeah it's not thick yet but this this blue is glowing let me see if y'all can see it yet hold on oh yeah hold on let me see hold on I'll be right back see that that's glowing <laughs> that is epic look at that Woo. if you don't have some go get you some look at that Woo. this is it people let's see <laughs> I don't know what happened to my ticket. I know. It is amazing. You don't have some. Look at that. You're missing out. This stuff is my favorite. One of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. But, yeah. That charge. Boom. All right. This is um, Glow Cane, Nora. No, oh, but I do have secret sauce. <laughs> I do have secret sauce. Okay, it's warming up, guys. It's warming up. I'm almost done. Okay, since I don't want y'all to wait forever because this is the boring part, um, this is pretty much the last bit of the tutorial. I just wanted to show y'all how I do it. Um, my little recipe, Glow Cane, Candyman, White Rhino. Um, I'm waiting for this just to warm up some more. I'll apply it on the cup. And um, if the person wants a decal, I'll add the decal after this is dry. And the next coat of epoxy, I'll add a little bit of cookie jar. Add some little, you know, extra sparkle. I love the White Rhino, though. The White Rhino is my favorite. I mean, I love um, Cookie Jar too, but White Rhino is my first love. It's just so pretty. I'm looking at it. That candy man and the white rhino it looks good 
How long does it take to dry? So what time is it right now? Okay, let's just say it's 11 o'clock. Um, this, I'll put it in a room. I have a room that I have a heater on. And um, so it's closed and it has heat. It'll be dry within four hours for me, for me, because I'm going to put it in that room, close the door. It's a small room, has a heater. Um, I know Becky, huh? And so it'll be dry like in four hours for me. And then if that person wants a decal, I'll be able to put it at the decal on it today. Add on another coat of a pot. Oh, sand it if I need to, because I do sand it. And oh, also sanding. If you need to sand it after you apply this coat of epoxy, um, just be very careful, okay? Because you don't want to scratch the paint. Um, I that's the reason why before I dip it, I make sure that it doesn't need to be sanded because you don't want to scratch this paint. Um, why? <laughs> it applies better. <laughs> You're so funny. To me, for me, okay. So, um, let me just tell you why I do it. When it's not thick for me, the epoxy's just all falling off. It's falling off and I find myself just having to, the whatever falls off, I'm reapplying it onto the cup, okay? And it's just messy. When I allow it to get warm and thick, none of it's gonna fall off and it's gonna have a nice, thick coat okay I just I like it I, I've done it both ways and I like it to get hot first because the hotter it gets it's starting to cure it's gonna get thick and then I slap it on and none of it's falling off and it just and it dries faster for me it dries faster and it's just a nice thick coat that's the reason why well that's the reason why I like to so hold on it's it's warm but it's not there yet so Yes, Brenda's right. <laughs> Brenda's absolutely right. And yes, I like my stuff thick. <laughs> there you go, Kim. Thank you. Warm, harder, thick, hot. <laughs> You're so funny. And if y'all have any questions after this live, feel free to reach out to me. If I can help you, I will. <laughs> okay, it's almost there. It's almost there. Not there yet, okay? So after that, then that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. That's what I do. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Ooh, I like that one. I haven't done that candy. I love Sons of Anarchy. I wish they would come back. Bring Jax back. He was a hottie. Let's see. You're welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure, Tara. I know this is boring, just waiting here for it, but I want y'all to see how it looks when I put it on the cup. It's gonna pop. It's gonna sparkle. Nicole, this is um, your cup. Did you want a decal on it? I know normally you don't like decals, but it's whatever you want. Almost. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about epoxy. Takes forever. No questions, Bueller, Bueller. I 
Almost, almost. Oh my gosh. So, supplies. It's almost there. I'm going to go over it again. Okay. Um, the glitters that I used, and this one is... You're wondering, in this cup, I used Pit Pocket. See that shift in it? Okay. And Klepto. Okay. Also known as Thug Life. <laughs> call it thug life but these are the two glitters that I'm fixing to epoxy this cup so and you can buy, purchase that at mrfancypants.shop the glow cane blue the candy man and the white rhino okay and that's what I put so far Oh, thank you, Sandy. I appreciate that. Yes, love. Candy just sent me a message. <laughs> my linen wants a cup. I'm going to have to give my linen a cup. After I'm done with this live, I got to talk to linen and see what color she wants. So I can make my glitter bow a cup. Okay, this is pretty hot. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Okay, I think it's ready. Hey, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, ready? I'm going to move y'all. I'm not going to be able to see. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the comments on this. Move this around so you can see the cut. Can you see it? Okay. Can y'all see that? Yeah. I'm going to give y'all a good view. Okay. So I can't really read comments right now. If you have any questions or if I miss it, I'll go back and answer them after the live. But here we go. Okay. Oh, and disclaimer, my turner is kind of noisy <laughs> so just letting y'all know so just bear with me be nice <laughs> thank you Shaq thank you if y'all hear bees don't worry that's um that's my turner <laughs> Hold on, I'm putting a new glove on. Give me a second. Oh Lord. <laughs> Language. What are you saying that for? I know I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. I'm just trying to get this glove on. My hands are all clammy. <laughs> my shack. My shack's got me. I'm almost done, okay? Okay, well, I'll look at it in just a second, okay? It, it doesn't want to come on? No, the PlayStation comes on, but when I sign on to games... Oh, your account doesn't want to work. PlayStation Network. Account. The network? Okay, we'll look at it in a second, okay? Uh, we have the email, but I just need the Okay, password. here we go. Okay, this is nice and hot and thick now, guys. Nice and hot and thick. Okay, there we go. Woo, that's so pretty. I love it. Hold on. Shoot. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
And I'm gonna turn y'all around so y'all can see it. So y'all can get it up close and personal. I can definitely, you know, I see the Candyman and remember this has glow, so this is gonna glow and see the white rhino. I'm gonna have to, I know for sure, I'm gonna have to add another coat of epoxy probably. So in that one, that, that coat, I'll add some cookie jar. to give it some bling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that Candyman looks, make, brings out that pickpocket. That's the reason why I chose Candyman because it has like that nice um, sheen to it that matches the pickpocket glitter. So that's the reason why I chose that one and it looks gorgeous. Looks really pretty. And I take my time when I do this only because I just I just like to make sure it looks comes out really good nice thick and hot I can see it so it's not a thin coat like when you don't let it warm up it's a nice thick hot coat of epoxy I don't like sanding <laughs> that's another reason why I like doing it like this I don't like sanding if I don't have to and every time I put on a nice thick coat I don't have to worry about sanding I might have to sand a little like the edges the, uh, the rim or the bottom a little bit but pull this out a little bit get this bottom here Get the bottom of the booty. There we go. All right, and let's clean it up. After I apply it on really thick, then I go back over and I smooth it out with my finger. So first I just kind of slop it on a little bit. And then um, with chunky glitter, make sure, I, and I don't think I showed y'all, oh no, I did. Um, how to pat it down really good because you don't want to have to you'll get these shards right here at the bottom sticking out if you don't and it's just a pain because you don't want to sand it too much because then you can cut into the glitter so um, none are sticking up thankfully on this cup and by me putting on this nice thick coat of epoxy you won't it'll be smooth at the bottom okay so let me go back over and smooth this out all right now I'll smooth it out And it's very smooth like I don't feel any bumps on this cup from the glitter or from the paint or from the sealant and I don't feel any bumps the only bumpiness that kind of feels around the rim which is to be expected but about time I sand it a little bit and I'll add another coat it'll be fine you won't feel it and I'll clean it up. All right, so that is it. I'm mean, just taking a look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll turn y'all around so y'all can see it. Okay. Let me, give me a second. Let me clean it. There we go. Ooh, look at 
look at that. And there's no cookie jar in this. So when I add the cookie jar, it's gonna be just that more blinky. There we go, guys. So this is Cl this is Thug Life, Candyman, Glow Cane Blue, White Rhino, and after this dries, I will, in the final coat, add a little bit of cookie jar, and that's it. All right. So, it's popping. All of these, all of these products can be purchased at mrfancypants.shop. There's the bottom. There we go. If you need any help or have any questions about these paints or products or anything, message uh, myself or Nicole and she can help you out. But that's it guys, hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Um, don't forget to like, share, and follow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for joining. Thanks again Mr. Fancy Pants and Mrs. Fancy Pants for allowing me to come on to finish my tutorial. Who did the mad face? No mad faces, only happy faces. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend and see y'all next time. Bye-bye.